Yo, what up everybody? In today's video, we're actually going to be changing the thermal pads on my RTX MSI Gaming X Trio 3070 Ti. Damn, that's a mouthful. The reason I'm wanting to change the thermal pads on this card is because if there's anything that I can do to bring down the temperatures, I'm going to do it, right? It goes up to 100 Celsius sometimes. It usually stays like around 98. Uh, right now, we're actually mining Ethereum. We are at 80.72 mega hash, 88 Celsius on the memory, 99% on the fans, 193 watts, 1200 on the core, 2500 on the memory. Now you might be thinking 88, that's not so bad, right? But check this out. I have the AC blasting directly onto the card and I don't wanna have to do that, right? I, I, I don't wanna have to keep the AC running so that I can maintain the card relatively cool. I know you can run these cards like at 100 Celsius, but like I said, if I could prolong the life of the card by just changing the thermal pads, then I'm gonna do so, right? So let's go ahead and start doing that and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk you through the process. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart and start doing the damn, uh, change the thermal pads once more to see if we can get the temperatures to be much better. Cause I've seen online that when people change the thermal pads, uh, it usually drops a lot, you know, not just a couple of degrees, but a good amount, like maybe 20 or so. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I need to figure out why it's not cooling the core as good as it used to. Maybe we're not really contacting as much so we're going to check that out but what I did want to tell you guys is that these screws here are, are the same but from here on out they're all they're all like uh, so the only different size of screws are these three right here those are the only uh, different ones so just keep that in mind And there it is. Alright, so I went ahead and uh, cleaned off the oil and the thermal paste that I had previous uh, to me uh, removing the thermal pads. Um, and now we have to install some new thermal pads. So what, from what I've read online, vertical is 2 millimeters, horizontal is 3 millimeters. And I'm going to make sure that I, you know, check them with these over here to see if they are... And there that is. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the three millimeter ones. We're gonna do these.
and there it is we've officially changed the thermal pads now we just got to add some thermal paste onto the uh to the gpu die uh add a little bit onto the cooler here and then start putting it back together right so let's go ahead and do that that's the last part pretty much and then uh and then we'll go ahead and see what the results are you know all right so now we're just going to go ahead and put some thermal paste on here and thermal paste on the gpu die and then that should be pretty much all we need to do uh, to finish this up here. So we're gonna just put like a little gob of goo right there. And then we're gonna spread it out. So. I, put, I went ahead and put some thermal paste on the cooler. So the thermal paste on the GPU die itself. And let's go ahead and put it back together and see what kind of temperatures we get. If I did anything wrong, let me know in the comments, man. But don't bash me. Like, just let me know what I did wrong. If I didn't do, if I did do anything wrong. All right, there's one. There's two. First one. We got the second one. So initially we were at 43 and 90 uh, so now we're at 56 and 82 so our memory temperatures dropped down but our core memory actually ended up going higher and even the fan speed dropped right we were at 99% fan speed at like 90 to 92 Celsius so it's running a lot cooler and a lot quieter but the, the core memory went up. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the card again and see if maybe switching the thermal pads, all of them to two millimeters to see if that makes a difference. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and test that out. All right, so this is what I've done so far. I got the three millimeter pads, right? Those are the ones that go horizontal, right? On the memory, horizontal, two millimeter vertical. And the reason is, is because we got this like little step up here that makes it, um, makes, uh, makes it to where you have to put a smaller thermal pad on here. Well, a skinnier one. So. I initially I had gotten the uh, three millimeter pads I put them on here and I used this here to squish down the thermal pads and the temperatures went down even more right they went down to 74 and but that got me 53 on the core now I know we can do a little bit better than that I'm hoping so what I did is that I got the two millimeters and I did the same thing with the two millimeter ones, right? I squished them down. And um, what I also noticed was that the pads here were covering and hanging on to this side here. So because I'm assuming that the thermal pad was on here, that makes me think that maybe that kind of prevented the contact with the uh, GPU die um, and so what I did was that I just kind of cut it off right I kind of cut off the thermal pad on here so that it could just specifically be within the uh, within here right from here on out and that's what I did so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the card together one more time and see what kind of thermals we can get um, by doing it this method and just making sure that we are within the area that we're supposed to be. I also ended up cutting off 
um, the excess part here because it was I noticed that it was hitting this block here so I cut off the excess amount that we had here and I'm gonna go ahead and see how that how that works so I will put it together once more and then I'll be back and I'll show you the thermals but so far after changing the uh, after squishing down the three millimeter pads it went down to 74 so from 80 to 84 down to 74 so another 10 celsius drop and i think that's pretty great um however i do want to get some better temps on the core but if not i mean 53 is fine I'm, i'll be happy with 53 because my memory temperatures dropped a significant amount i mean we were at 90 in a in a uh, ac controlled environment so yeah i'll be back and i'll show you guys how the uh, temperatures turn out all right, so we are at 51 on the core, 72 on the memory, 50% fan speed, 990 on the core, 2500 on the memory, and I am very, very happy with the results that I've gotten by simply changing the thermal pads on the graphics card, right? We went from 90 to 72. Scratch that. We went from 98 to 72. The only reason it was down to 90 was because I now have the card in a in a controlled environment, right? Um, so if you're wanting to change the gra your thermal pads on your specific graphics card, specifically this one, right? The Gaming X Trio 3070 Ti. Well, now you have a video to kind of go uh, and base yourself off of because I personally did not find any video on YouTube that shows you how to change the thermal pads on this specific graphics card. And um, you're, if you do decide to do that, you're going to need two millimeter and three millimeter thermal pads. And I'm going to leave the links down below for these uh, thermal pads in my description. And if you decide to use those and use the links, I would highly appreciate it. And it would just benefit me and the channel if you do use those links to purchase your thermal pads. Uh, but for the most part, there it is, man. I, I really appreciate you guys watching my video today. Uh, go ahead and like subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video And if you need any help go ahead and just leave a comment and I can see if I can help you in any way possible um, I do have another video that I'm gonna be creating in a couple more days I'm gonna do a copper mod on the graphics card and I'm also gonna be doing uh, Adding putty to the graphics card, right? There's this thermal putty that people have been using to make the temperatures drop even lower than um, than what you guys are seeing with just the thermal pad replacement. Uh, so I hope you guys look forward to that and I'll see you guys later.